Okay, you guys have no idea how excited I am to film this video right now. I also kind of want to try to get my porg in the background because I bought him a t-shirt to wear in my videos before I like redid my setup and I, I need him. I need him in my life. I'll be right back. You guys, this is the funniest shit I have ever done and it took me like 10 minutes to get his fat ass in this little crevice. So appreciate me trying to figure out how to like, I'm just gonna just scoot you back a little bit today. That's okay. I like want you to be able to see it at all times just because I love it. I love him so much. Like this is literally just becoming like me. Like it's taking over my whole channel and all of my social media. So there's this cute little custom t-shirt shop, like pretty close to where I live. At first I thought it was just going to be a shop full of random t-shirts, like vintage tees. And I was like so excited because I love random t-shirts. I don't really know why, but I went in and it was actually a custom t-shirt shop. So me and my friend Dylan both got shirts and I got mine for my porg. I got him a 4X but it doesn't fit. I had to cut out the neck hole just to get it on him. Actually, that's a lie. I got it on him with the neck hole still intact, but it was suffocating him so badly. If you guys have seen him, you know, naked, like without the shirt on, he's like one, like his whole body is connected to his head. Like he doesn't really have like a neck, but with the t-shirt on, this man has a neck because it's just squeezing him. So I cut it off. It's still pretty bad. But we're here, we're living, it's okay. But I thought it was the funniest shit. I was like, I'm just gonna buy him a very basic t-shirt that says fucking subscribe on it because I just, I don't know, I thought it was so funny. I should have gotten him the 6X, that's like the biggest one they had. But I thought, I honestly thought 4X would be like perfect. I was gonna get him a 2X. I was gonna get this man a 2X. Like, can you imagine? He'd be dead. Like, I know he's a stuffed animal, but he would be dead. But seriously, okay, I'm so excited for this video, not just for that, but because I have a story for you guys about my man Harry Styles and it's it's not a real story, but okay. We're gonna scoot you guys down a little bit. Sorry you can't necessarily see his face, but still see his shirt. It's the whole point of me moving him. I have been blessed with the best audience in the entire world. Let me tell you guys, I tweeted like maybe a week ago from when I'm filming this. So like two weeks ago, probably when you're seeing this, I tweeted Harry Styles could step on my face and I would thank him. One of you replied and you were like, am I gonna see a fan fiction about this? And I was like, if you don't write that thing, I will block you. So bless your souls. Somebody wrote a fan fiction about me and Harry Styles and I am so excited to read it on camera. I have not read it yet. I've read like the first two lines, but I was like, I need to make a video on this. I'm pretty sure they've gotten four chapters done. So I'm gonna read you guys everything they've completed so far. I'm gonna have them up on the screen. I will have them linked down below. Bless your soul. I love you. Like this is the greatest video I will ever make. I wore my shirt in honor of this. I can't wait. Because not only am I Harry Styles' biggest fangirl, but now I have a story with me in it where we're like, I mean, I would hope that we fall in love. My heart and soul cannot handle all of this. I'm so excited. Okay, let me find it and then we're gonna get right into this. I'm sorry that like all my videos for the weekend are like me reading other things, but you guys, you guys. I couldn't not share this with you guys and I literally wanted to film this video as soon as possible because I'm so fucking excited for it. Okay, so this is He Stepped On My Face, Harry Styles' Ex Courtney Semple by James' His Guitar. I can't, I actually can't believe that this is, like I can't believe this exists. You guys are going to see my ultimate fangirl release in this video. Okay, so this is from my point of view. I'm in London with my friend Kayla for this weekend, mainly because I forced her to come here since my idol Harry Styles lives here. Maybe I'm a little bit obsessed with him, but just a little though. But he's just so cute and handsome and perfect, just perfect. Anyways. Kayla was in the hotel doing whatever she's doing and I was going to walk around London. Hopefully I would meet Harry. I would die, like for real. I can't, I actually can't. If I saw Harry, I would scream, fall down on the ground and just cry. He would think I'm an idiot, but everyone already thinks that, so yeah, it's whatever. No, it isn't just whatever. It's a big deal if he thinks I'm weird. I just want him to love me. Okay, no, maybe that's a little too much, but it's true though. I sound so obsessed at the moment, but it's true. All I'm saying is it's true. Okay, but right now I'm near the London Eye. Or where should I go? I mean, where would Harry Styles be? He would be somewhere. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna stalk him. <laughs> Fuck, you can't make me the creepy stalker. I take my phone out of my pocket and go over to his Instagram and I check his story. He posted a picture of him near the Big Ben an hour ago. Is he still there though? I don't think so, but let's just go there. I started to run towards it, but my clumsy ass bumped into a random creepy old dude and I fell down. Now I have a story time. How I stalked Harry Styles and fell down. Just after that thought, somebody stepped on my face. Ouch, I mumbled towards the shoe on my face. My eyes were closed and the foot went away. I'm so sorry, I hear a familiar voice say. I start to freak out and I open my eyes. I looked into the green-eyed boy I'd always saw in my dreams. It's okay, I said and I got up. My face was hurting. I didn't see you and I wasn't really paying attention towards the ground and I, he started to ramble. Why is this low-key me? Okay, fuck off. You guys making fun of my rambles and shit? Okay, you guys can't make fun of me in my own fan fiction. I guess you can. I cut him off. No, it's okay, really, I'm just clumsy. And I was hurrying towards Big Ben and I bumped into this creepy old man. I fell down and just started to think about what happened when I could get up. And I'm so small so no one sees me. I started to ramble. He laughs a little. Don't ramble. I'm Harry, by the way. He'll, 
He holds up his hand to me, waiting for me to shake it. I smile a little. My name's Courtney. I take his hand. Oh my god, it's so soft. I shake his hand, meanwhile, I'm dying inside. Are you sure you're okay? I nod. Yeah. Totally. I finish the line in my head with, now that I'm talking to you. You know what? Let me make it up to you. What about we grab some coffee? I'll pay. I start to fangirl so hard, but I try to look calm. That sounds great. He smiles and we start to walk towards a cafe. Ah, wow, I can't believe I meet Harry Styles because he steps on my face. I hope this actually happens. Harry, by the way, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I promise I'm kind of normal, but Harry Styles is never gonna know who I am. That's okay. Okay, that's part one, so we're gonna move on to part two. So far, really digging it. Really love the story. Right now, Harry and I are sitting at a small table in a cafe. I still can't believe he's just sitting here in front of me, only because he stood on my face. It's weird how things work sometimes. The waitress comes back with our coffee and places it in front of us. We thank her and she walks away. Way. So, Harry says, I look at him. What? Do you live here? You don't sound British. That's true. I live in America. Texas to be exact. I used to live in Florida, but moved to Texas to be closer to my friends. Ah, wrong. Wrong, bitch. I used to live in Arizona. Kayla lived in Florida, though, so at least you're, like, kind of correct. Unless, wait, this is me, right? This is not Kayla. He nods. That's cool. Why are you here? Just on vacation? I nod. Yeah, I've always wanted to go here. Cool. He takes a sip of his coffee. I look at him, not knowing what to say. I've wanted to tell him so much stuff before, but now I just can't. I lost all my words. What? Harry asks, noticing me staring at him. My face turns bright red. Do you... I say, do you know about the chicken? I face palm myself. Why did I say that? Why? I seriously have no idea. The chicken? Harry asks with a laugh. It's like a chicken sitting at a dining table. It's the best fucking thing ever. He laughs again. Nope, I don't know it. I grab my phone and look for the chicken. This is it, I say, and show him the chicken. Fuck, I can't believe somehow, some way, the chicken comes into my fantasy of me and Harry Styles. The chicken has just taken over my life. He laughs when I show him the picture. It's the best thing ever, right? I ask. It really is, he says. I smile. Wow, I can't believe Harry loves the chicken just as much as I do. How'd you get that picture? Oh, uh, that's a story. Tell me. Er, you don't have to though. I smile sheepishly. Anyways, do you like London? He asks after a while. It's awesome. That's good. Do you have plans for tomorrow? I'm going to do things with my friend. I can guide you two around. He gives me a wink and I turn bright red again. I, we, that, that would be great. I suddenly forgot how to talk. He smiles. Great. What's your number? Oh my God, the Harry Styles wants my number? I am shocked. What the fuck is up, Kyle? I love you. I love this story. I literally can't even. I wanna scream and cry at the same time. I'm literally shaking. I put myself together and give him my number. He smiles again. I can die for those smiles. I'm dying so hard, I have to text Kayla. So this is a text conversation between me and Kayla. So I said, Kayla, oh my God, I'm with Harry Styles right now and I gave him my number. Kayla, Courtney, are you drunk again? No, I am for real. Hmm, sure. You have to believe me, I'm not kidding. I'm literally shaking, oh my God. Sure, honey, I'm gonna go now, stay safe. I put my phone away and just look at Harry, who's also playing with his phone. I don't know what to say right now. What do I need to say? I sigh softly. Somebody commented on this part and they were like, Kayla, the typical friend. I mean, it's true though. If I ever texted Kayla and I was like, dude, I'm with Harry right now, she'd be like, hilarious. But okay, this is part three. After an hour getting coffee, Harry has to go. Bye, see you later, he says and waves at me before leaving. Bye, it was nice meeting you, I say back, but he can't hear me anymore. I sigh with happiness. I just met Harry fucking Styles, the love of my life. He has my number and he's gonna show Kayla and I around tomorrow. How awesome is that? I can die happily right now. In my head, I replay what just happened while I'm walking back to the hotel. I can scream so hard if I want to, but I don't. When I'm in the hotel, I get to the hotel room and just walk in. Kayla's asleep on her bed. I jump down on my bed, take a pillow, and scream against it. Courtney? I hear Kayla mumble sleepily. I stop doing what I'm doing and look at her. Yeah? What happened? Guess what? I smile. What? I said guess what, not say what. I roll my eyes. You got drunk in a bar and met a guy who looks like Harry and thought it was him? She guesses. No, I say and sit straight up. I was stalking Harry a little and I saw he was near Big Ben an hour ago, so I started to run towards it. But I bumped into a creepy old man who made me fall down. I was thinking a little and then Harry Styles stepped on my face. He said sorry and that he was going to make it up by taking me out to coffee and now he's gonna show us around London. I make extreme hand movements while doing it and I'm just so happy. Okay, okay, you actually know me pretty well, I have to say. I mean, I do make a lot of hand movements, I do ramble a lot and I love Harry Styles. And I also like coffee. Wait, are you for real? I nod like a hundred times really quick. And you didn't freak out and get awkward and shy when you saw him? I mean, I was freaking out, but I didn't get shy for some reason. And I was like, how did I not get shy and awkward? He took me out to coffee, but he probably thinks I'm a weirdo. My dumbass thought it was a good idea to start talking about the chicken. Kayla starts to laugh super hard. I'm proud of myself, to be honest. She doesn't stop laughing. Sure, laugh, I don't care. I met Harry Styles and you didn't. I didn't get all awkward and talk to him. I'm proud, I say, and take my phone to go on Twitter and reply to some fans. One fan stands out. Her name is Danny. I follow her and then I get a text from an unknown number. Unknown. Hey, 
Who is this? Did you give your number to more than one person? No, wait, are you Harry? Yep, the one and only. Oh, hey, there's no way to be like casual. I'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe you actually texted me. Hey, so what about tomorrow? What did you want to do? Surprise me. Okay, where do I need to go so I can pick you and your friend up tomorrow? I gave him the address of the hotel I'm staying at and he said he's gonna pick us up. I can't wait. Holy shit, I think there's five parts. So this is part four. Holy fuck, Harry fucking Styles is coming in an hour. I look like shit, Kayla, help me. Stop showering and help your girl out. I yell through the hotel room. Calm the fuck down, she yells back. I can't. Kayla, how are you so calm? I look at my bed and all of the clothes everywhere. I just grab one of the outfits and put it on. Yeah, sure, this is okay. Kayla gets out of the shower. Hey, get dressed. I need to do my makeup in there. I yell right away. Jesus, calm down. I'm getting dressed right now and I need to do my makeup too. No, Cal, what the fuck is up? I roll my eyes and just straighten my hair a little more. I need to wait for Kayla, so why the fuck not? After five minutes, I can get into the bathroom. I start doing my makeup right away. I turn on my playlist and Kayla and I sing to the music. If we're listening to One Direction, my life is complete. When I'm done, we only have five minutes left. I pack my bag really quick and when I'm done, Harry calls me. I pick up. Hey, Harry. Hey, Courtney. Oh, hey, Siri. Fuck off. Hey, Courtney. Are you guys ready? I can't get inside of the hotel and people are looking at me right now. I look over at Kayla. She's ready too. Yeah, we're ready. Where do you want to meet? The square outside of the hotel. I'm sitting on a bench. Okay, we're coming. See you soon. I hang up and notice how I'm shaking. I'm never going to get used to this. Harry is here. Let's go. I say when I calm down a little. Kayla looks at me and nods. I'm not expecting to see Harry Styles. Just know that. Okay, well, it really is him, but don't freak out, okay? We walk outside of the hotel room and take the elevator to the lobby. We get out of the elevator and go to the square in front of it. I look for the boy and see him with a beanie and sunglasses. He looks our way and gets up and walks towards us. I hear Kayla gasp and that makes me start to freak out too. I try to stay calm though, but I know I'm gonna fail. Hey, Harry says when we can hear him. He hugs me with one arm and even kisses me on my cheek. I turn bright red. Hey, I say weakly. I look at Kayla who simply says, oh my God, I chuckle. I told you. Hey, I'm Harry. Harry greets her. She just looks at me with big eyes. That's Kayla, I say while wrapping an arm around her. She's my best friend. Shy? Harry asks me. I think she's in shock. <laughs> How is Kayla? Kayla would be way better in this situation than I would. Like, Kayla's way cooler than I am. I would literally be like, <laughs> why? Because you're Harry Styles, Kayla says. Oh. Harry says. He looks at me. I have no idea what to do or say. I just look at the ground. You guys, there are so many parts to this. Okay, hang on. Let me see how many parts there are because I might stop there and read the rest later because, oh my God, there are so, holy shit. There are so many parts, you guys. Okay, I literally think I'm gonna stop here because there's four more parts to it and they're all really long. So this is where I'm gonna stop the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I actually like don't wanna stop reading because I wanna hear the rest of it. Let me know if you guys wanna hear the rest of the fan fiction, even though I'm probably gonna post it anyways because I love this. This is fucking hilarious, you guys. Shout out to you guys for being absolutely amazing and taking like the smallest things and just creating something beautiful out of it. Like they took my tweet and created an entire story from it. I, I love you guys so much. I also hope you guys are enjoying the three videos a week. I think I'm gonna try to do this more often. On um, this next coming up, week. I'll be in Florida, so I probably won't be able to get three videos up, but I will definitely have the two for the weekend. But I'm feeling better, and I'm so motivated to keep filming videos. There's stuff like this that I just get so excited about, and all I want to do is sit down and film and talk to you guys. So I'm really glad that I feel like this again, and I'm not like in that YouTube like slump anymore. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm kind of sad you can't like see him. I like, I don't know how to like